said, uh, when Moses went to talk to Pharaoh, uh, Pharaoh said, you know what, Moses, your people, I used to give them straw to make bricks. Well, let them go find the straw now to make them bricks. And the tally of bricks better be the same. That was hell, man. You know? And uh, what about uh, you had those great kings of uh, the Assyrian Empire? They were great in wickedness. They put all kind of hell on Israel. Guys like Asher ben Nippel and uh, Shalmanazar and uh, Sargon. Those were the king, the Assyrian kings. They put all kinds of hell on Israel. They have, there's a, a, a what is it called? A, a mural, a mural of uh, Israelites being led into captivity with their garments cut off, just to make uh, mockery of those brothers. And you can see their their rods dangling. That's how long our rods were back then, right? Just to make mockery. All right, go on, brother. For under the whole heaven hath not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. So that's the point. That's the point, All right? Okay, go back to the scripture here. Okay, this is Lamentations 4, verse 22. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. So remember the scripture I read, brothers. We The scripture tells us we caught the most hell out of every nation under heaven. So our punishment is almost up. So we ain't going to catch hell no more. We're going to enjoy this. This kingdom we're about to get, brothers, we're going to enjoy this kingdom. It's going to be an everlasting kingdom. And, and you're going to have fresh, imagine having fresh food every day. Well, fresh, imagine having fresh meat every day. Fresh meat every day. Fresh garments. A chariot. Or oh, many go, go, oh, what's that, in Esther? Yeah. The woman, they're going to prepare, it's going to take them a year. Yep. That's you ain't just going to have a woman and second go second. home with the woman and have sex. Yep. She's going to have to prepare herself. For you. For you. And that's going to take a year. Yep. And like, nope. like the scene in uh, the movie, uh, uh, Coming to America. The scene where Eddie Murphy was in the water and the chick said the royal penis is clean, sir. <laughs> that's just a little, that's an inkling, man. Right? That's an inkling of what we're going to get. Yeah. You know, have one woman wash your penis, have another woman get it. That's the kind of kick, man. Hey, Isaiah 64 and uh, 4. I have not seen nor have it entered into the mind of... of Okay, bring it Isaiah 64 and 4. For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard, nor perceived by the air, neither have the eyes, the eyes seen, O Most High, beside thee, what he hath prepared for him that waited for. Now, now I want to share something with you, brothers. 2,000 years ago, Yahweh Shai said this, I go to prepare a place for you. Did he not say that? That's 2,000 years ago. So what kind of a hell of a place must that be? It took 2,000 years to, 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 to be prepared. Damn. Yeah. 2,000 years, man. He said, I'm going to prepare a place for you where I am you're going to be. So you got to imagine, damn, 2,000 years it took to... Yeah, he's talking about the planets. Yeah. It so what, you in Isaiah. Right. So what kind of kingdom is that going to be? That's right. Where it took 2,000 years to prepare. Go on, bro. If you if you take a month to prepare a place for somebody, if somebody tell you, look, man, I'm going to prepare a place for you, it's going to take me a month, I'm going to build a house for you, whatever, you got to wonder what kind of house that's going to be and what's going to be in that house. We're talking 2,000 years, man. I was meditating on that, I think it was this morning or yesterday. I was meditating on that. Yeah, Go because on. Solomon, Solomon um, is your Howard Shai and the reincarnation, which we all should know. That's right. Anyway, when Solomon came on the scene, he built the Most High, chose him to build a temple. And the temple was uh, marvelous, beautiful, gorgeous. Yeah. Seven years, right? Yeah, I was going to ask a oh, question. I'm sorry, you know, bro. I'm sorry. That's all right. I'm going to ask a well, That's all right. I got away with that one. Now, he, it, took him se it took seven years for the temple to be built, all right? Do you know who the chief builder was? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta come don't, don't say nothing, brother. Don't even think about it. I'm no. out. What's, up, what's up, brother? You're the one scholar, resident yeah, scholar. I was going to say it. I was going to no, shout it out. I ain't want to shout it out. You were going to say it. Hey, yo, Hiram Abiff. That's a, uh, Hiram Abiff. That's the guy that the whole Mason thing is based on. Hiram, Hiram Abiff. Now, he built, this guy was a master mason. That whole concept of being a master mason is based off of this guy, Hiram Abyss. 
I mean, this guy, he would shape and, you know, you see people working on a, a house, the Mexicans, they'll cut the stone perfectly and make it fit. Well, this guy was a, a, a supreme master in that. That's right. And it took seven years to build that temple. Now Solomon said, okay, now I want my house built. <laughs> By a show of hands, yep, yep. how many years do you think it took? I, I know you already know, you too, look too confident. Um, how many years did it take to build Solomon's own personal house? It's 14. 14 years. 14 years. But that's, that's close enough. So... The, the temple was a majestic temple, right? Now, and it took seven years. That's a long time to build anything, man. But it took double the time to build his house. And his house, the main material in his house was what material? Gold. He built I mean, a house out of gold. In other words, he had gold. And basically, he did. Everything was pretty much gold. But other other materials, too. But anywhere you went, you saw solid gold. Everything gold wear, man. Gold hinges on. Oh, when they ate, with, 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 um, when they ate uh, mills, the, the, the forks and the knives were what? Gold. Solid gold. All right? So that's living, man. That's right. And we're supposed to eat like with a silverware. You're really supposed to eat with real silver, because silver does wonders for the body. It, it um, builds your immune system. Yeah. Silver. Yep. So you're supposed to If eat. you have AIDS and you eat with uh, real silverware, it takes the AIDS out. Takes the AIDS out. Um, now, he said, he said earlier, John 14, I go to prepare a place for you, right? 2,000 years. Now, he's, that's Solomon that took 14 years to build that majestic house. So if he's taking 2,000 years to build us a place, we're going to be living. Yeah, I mean, we're going to be living, That's right, man. That's right, man. Another thing, when we go on the ship, we're not going to go on the ship like George Jetson, man. When you jump, you know, you hop in the ship and a little small ass ship. Your ship is going to be as, as big as a daggone city. That's right, man. And you're gonna have, you ain't going to have CDs. You're going to have actual uh, orchestras playing in your ship. In your ship. They showed you that in Star Wars so, with uh, this guy, um... Job of the hut. Oh yeah. He yeah. had motherfuckers playing for him in his ship. Yep. Oh, so yeah. we're gonna be living the same way. Yep. You know? Yeah, you can wear the, a garment the color of your ship. Like you wear a purple garment, have a purple ship. You can have your garment change up. You have your you know, garment change up. Every 15 minutes, just change up. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We're gonna do things like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You have your. You, if you wanna live under the water for a month, you live under the water for a month. Then we'll be able to talk to the animals. You know, tell the fish, how you doing today? I'm doing good, how you doing? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, we're all going to have spiritual power. Yeah. You know? Disappear, re mess with your woman. You know? Appear in front of her. Disappear. Well, I ain't going to be doing that. Because <laughs> you know what? I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. be doing a different, I'm be yeah. doing a different magic trick. Yeah, yeah, you know? that's right. I mean, just mess with her. You know? Go on, brother. All right. Back here in Lam Lamentations, this, this, this place is through, man. America's finished. Well, it's you can through. smell, smell it. Ooh, it smells this, like a toilet. It smells like a toilet. Look at all this garbage yeah, on the floor. Man. This is a raggedy ass thing, man. It's ready to go, man. It's ready to crumble. It's ready to go. It's corroded. You know, go on, brother. Lamentations 422. Oh, this is nothing to fight for. Jeez, Fucking man. air is, is uh, cor uh, cor uh, corrupted. Every goddamn day, they're putting chemtrails in the air. So this place is gone, man. The hell with this goddamn place, man. The women are all, uh, the women are all uh, uh, polluted. Go on, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Lamentations 4 and 22. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. Yeah, daughter of Edom is a so-called white man. And, and a, as an added bonus in the kingdom, we're going to have the white man as a slave. Right. And we're going to be whipping them, man. <laughs> Kicking them in the ass, doing whatever the hell they wanted. You had a king, the king uh, his name was uh, Amaziah. He was a Judite. The way he got off was taking Edomites, leading them up to a mountain, and pushing them off the mountain, and watching them fall and bust into pieces. That's how he got his, his jollies. All right? We're going to be doing that in the kingdom. And more. All right? <laughs> yeah, go, go ahead. It says, he will discover thy sins. Yeah, he will discover thy sins. So the so-called white man, he's finished, man. He's finished. His, 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 his uh, America's uh, pride and joy is his hope. It's finished. Right. It's done. All right. 
Go ahead, brother. This is uh, 2 Ezra 2 and 13. Go and ye shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you, that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Yeah. Watch. Yeah, yeah, hey. Check this out, brothers. Read that again. Read that precept again. Go and ye shall... This is 2 Ezra 2 and 13. Uh -huh. Go and ye shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you, that they may be shortened. Right. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Yeah. Watch. We're supposed to be praying day and night for this, this place to go down, man, to, 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 to be dissolved, man. We're supposed to be praying for Yahweh Shai to come back here and bring that judgment, man. Bring that destruction. Go on, brother. That was it. That's it on that? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Take heaven and earth to witness, for I have broken the evil in pieces. Yeah, the most I say I've broken the evil in pieces. All right. America's an evil place, and it's going to be broken in pieces. Okay, all right, go on. Go on. Go on. And created the good for our lives, saith the Lord. Yeah, if, if the Lord lives, then we're going to live. Plain, plain all right, yeah. go on, brother. All right, this is Haggai, uh, chapter 2, verse 22. That's a good one. Okay. And I will overthrow the throne of kingdoms, and I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of... Let me read that again. And I will overthrow the throne of kingdoms... Yeah, and America is no different. That's right. The Most High is going to over overthrow this place. Like Elder Tar said one time, you're going to tell me of all the kingdoms, the Bible got them recorded, all the past great kingdoms. America is a great kingdom, is it not? Sure it is. You're going to tell me America is not recorded in the Bible? Somehow the Lord forgot about America, right? It's recorded in the Bible, but it's known as Babylon the Great. It's going to be the and it says, And I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the heathen. Yeah, that's, this is the kingdom of the heathen. Go on, brother. And I will overthrow the chariots and those that ride in them. Yeah, those chariots, talking about those uh, uh, fighter jets and tanks and all that, they're all going to come against the Lord that day. The Lord said he's going to overthrow them. He's going to destroy them. Alright, so you know what? Uh, and the horses and their riders shall come down, every one by the sword of his brother. Yeah, all them missiles. Because they're going to actually shoot missiles at the Lord. And the Lord's going to destroy them. Right? Any more on that? That was it. Huh? That's it on that? Is that it? I'll have Okay, so with that, we'll, we'll say shalom, we'll see you next time.